Hello guys, what's going on? It's Dilemma King here and welcome back to another episode on the Pixelmon server. And we are back at pocketpixel.net for some more Pixelmon. If you guys enjoyed the first video or even haven't if you even haven't have even seen the first video, I'd recommend going to check that out because that would be amazing. So we are here to start our first house and so far our first house I have picked is going to be in the East Warp if you guys are interested. It's not that far off spawn, spawn just like over in there for the East. But this is the little plot I created for my land. This is as much as I really could take for my land. So this is what I have reserved. I'm going to use a little bit more than that, but inside here is going to be all the important stuff to make sure that I don't lose anything important. So what we're going to do is we're going to flatten out the land here for us to have. And then I think I'm going to go and mine a little bit so I can get some different blocks for this. But I just wanted to set down a chest in here in my block lane so that no one can take my stuff because I have a full inventory of stuff. The only thing that I've really done off camera besides that I went around to all the different warps and like try to pick out which one I like the best and I picked east because it's right on the river it's a nice little corner spot here there's gonna be more houses going that way but I thought a nice little river home would work well so that is what I really thought of for this the only other thing I really, really did was I went and up and uh, trained some of my Pokemon, battling other Pokemon. And I also caught a Luxio and a Charmeleon while I was at it. So I can have some more Pokemon to add to the deck. I don't know why that lag happens like that. I guess that's just a side effect of this. But that is now our team as of now. We have two Bulbasaurs, obviously. We can find better Pokemon. The lower level of the two is going to be discarded and it will stick to the higher level of two. So now what I'll do is I need a crafting table. Like that. Now I need to pop another one of these woods in there to make a chest. For us to keep some of the stuff in because there's so much stuff here. So much stuff, not enough space. Okay, let's throw some of their stuff. This wood can go in there, that can go in there, that stuff can go in there, and all these little guys can go in there, that can go in there. And the extras that can go in there. And we can hold on them. Now, I'm not really familiar with the Pixelmon mod, so I'm going to have to go look up like what other items you can craft. I'm pretty sure, I mean, you can build the healing stand and trading thing and everything, so I'm not 100% familiar with what you can build in here, but I will go and look up what I can to see if I can figure out how to build the stuff and get the resources we need to make our house as wonderful as possible. Now, what I was thinking is, I found a nice little area in the south fork, but it was a long way away from spawn, but the benefit of that is you have... A lot more room to mine so what I might have to do for mining wise is go out into the into the oblivion and try to mine some stuff I know how it's gonna work oh that's a this shovel that's the one that's cool. I'm trying to flatten out my land frame so I can have more flat space to work with for my house. I don't really know what I'm going to do with my house yet. I just wanted to claim land. So I have it all set up. And now I'm going to build outside the border by... Well, I have three going that way. And four going that way. So I might do like three out this way. So one, two, three. So this will be enough. Just so... Well, actually do one more. Just so I have some extra room outside because I don't want... I wanted a bigger land claim to use, but I can only hold up to 132 blocks, so I really couldn't get any more than this. This goes as much as I could get. So, I took what I can get right on the river. I still plant a lot, so. I'm gonna put this down and make it look a little bit more. Take a stone. 
going out of here. Yeah, I'm a get some stone out of here because I do want to make some other decor item. You don't want you don't as a house on here. You don't really want to build just a box. You want to build something nice and fancy to stand out at the spawn here at the warp. So I just want to have enough resources to build a nice house. I don't really know what I'm going to go for with the house, but might as well just use the wood and stone or whatever I get in order to make things happen. And I got stone. I can turn that into a furnace. So there's a spot, okay, so that's the plot. So I want to take some wood. At least there's a little bit of lag. Just a little bit. We pick some on. It's just out of the circle runs. And we're just going to put it down. I just want to have like a little note here, like, like saying, like, okay, there's a house coming. So, I just want to make sure that these are in the plot so no one else can get in here. But there's a lot of neat builds around here. They have stuff for sale over here. Not these wild chinkses. But there were, I don't know where they went. Some legendaries here they had. Nidorinos, Nidorinos. You know, this is the uh, Freeland Estate, no trespassers. I can just walk in, do whatever I want. But I'm assuming that the S is all claimed. But these are just houses that people have. And you can build houses around spawn. So that's what I plan on doing here with my little boat. Oh, there they are. They have a Moltres and a. What is that, a Raku? Just chilling. For sale. For a lot of my. Yeah, there's a little shinx here, let's just, uh, I'm trying to Bulbasaur. We can put him to sleep. Bulbasaur. He wasn't put to sleep. Let him to sleep. Yeah. Aw, oh, let him to sleep. He's a sleep powder on him. Come on. It keeps avoiding the attack from my thing. There we go, do some damage. It just, it keeps weakening my defense. What does it do? Just kill it then. Kill it, there we go. Ooh, got it grown up to a level, what is that, 14? He's up to 14 now? Yeah, he's getting there. Almost at the point of, he's not going to be a baby anymore. He's going to grow up. It's going to be a sad day. So there was a community mine over here. Now I really don't know what would be in this mine. Because we're bringing a lot of people here. I don't know if it's even worthwhile going down to the mine, but I think it will be worthwhile to head on out into the distance. I'm going to actually set home. Or so I can just warp back to home. I think that's the command. Okay, good. So I'm just gonna waddle on out in the eastern direction and see if we can find a nice little mine shaft to work with. And I'll try to level up along the way, but I'm not really gonna like have this in the video if I don't really need to. It's a nice house. I like this house. The mailbox and stuff is a nice little house. I like this. Something like this. Might need some sand and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off, find a mine shaft, do some collection of stuff, and I will come back with you guys right when I finish my collection spree and get back to building a house. All right, guys, and we're back. And Bulbasaur is evolving. He's going up. Got him to level 16. He is. He's going up to the big boy leagues now. 
It's so fast. They grow up so fast. The part of the guy. Well, now we are on the second part, which is an Ivysaur. Next will be a Venusaur. So now we have a Ivysaur. Ivysaur. Doesn't he hasn't changed on the right side. He's still a Bulbasaur. But he'll be up towards the upgraded version eventually, hopefully. And yeah, so we are back at the house. And this is where I'm going to end off the video because I'm just waiting for stuff to cook around here. I'm just playing around with Pokemon, getting them leveled up. But we have quite a bit of iron here and aluminum that will be added to the collection. We also got a bunch of flowers. I also have some in the backpack. And we're going to make this place nice and fancy. So I will start working on getting this place prepared to be turned into our home. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you please remember to leave a like, it would be greatly appreciated. And comment down below any tips you have for my Pixelmon series. I'm not the best at Pixelmon, and I'm not the best at Pokemon in general, but I do enjoy playing it, and if you have any tips, it would be greatly appreciated. And subscribe if you haven't already. So thanks, guys, and I will see all of you guys.